this is why I don't do these things because you know you get there and there's a flight of stairs and there's no signposts anywhere the only thing that it says is we're improving your station give better access to the station and it doesn't kind of tell you anything So should we have a look, see if it works? <laughs> oh, you're not kidding. Have a look what's in it. There's a motorbike. Oh my goodness me. Now this is what I find all the time. You open it up, there'll be the high chairs, there'll be a ladder, there'll be, you just can't get in. People just put more barriers when there should be less barriers. I find it often that when I go in an accessible toilet, they kind of used as a storeroom. So like in that one, there was a motorbike before we even got there. And then to the actual toilet, um, the floor was wet through. So it's a massive slip hazard. I have custom made implants in that are keeping my legs at the moment. If I actually fell over with the amount of metal work in me, it would cost me a limb because I have fragility of my bones as well with a crossover into osteogenesis. So although the toilet, we could kind of get in, the toilet wasn't high enough, um, the facilities weren't there, and it was just quite simply dangerous. Yeah, that's a bit... You're right. Yeah. Cobbles are a bit of an issue for me because obviously they're so uneven. I understand that it's keeping in the character of like an old city, but from the point of view of being a wheelchair user, they are the bane of my life. The curbs are quite steep, so falling off the curb could cause like serious injury. And for me, dislocations if I came off the curb like that. It's massively steep. And for the average person on the street, that's a massive, massive barrier. So some of the older buildings have a lot of steps and things before the legislation came out. And yeah, I understand sometimes there are issues that can't be addressed, but it's again just using a little bit of thought about it and being able to perhaps use portable ramps or even just come out and speak to somebody and explain that it's not possible, it'd be nice instead of just ignoring us. quite good actually. Thought like that, it's just a bit of tarmac, you know, it's, it wouldn't have cost an awful lot of money to do that, but it's just that sort of thought level makes a massive difference and impact on the quality of my life and how easy it is for me to go out as an individual. I wanted to take part in the awareness campaign today because I wanted to highlight that some of these issues that people who don't have um, a disability and are able-bodied wouldn't necessarily see from their own perspective. So things like uneven pavements, things like no drop curbs, no ramps. I think it's easier for people to ignore that there is an issue because if you accept something you kind of have to do something about it. It doesn't have to be expensive, it doesn't have to be changing the whole structure and that. It's just a little bit of thought about trying to look at it from somebody else's perspective rather than a one-size-fits-all. 